doing Wee Wacky Science. So, what you need today, first of all, is an adult. So you need to go get your adult or caretaker to be with you while you're doing this experiment. Now that you have your adult, we're going to be doing an experiment called No Flow H2O. What do you think H2O is? It's the chemical formula for water. Did you figure that out? So, today, the best place to do this experiment is in your kitchen, where you have water. I have, you need water today, and you need a glass. You can have a plastic glass or a glass glass, and you need paper. So, the best kind of paper to use is either an index card, card stock, or I also cut up a paper plate because it's heavier. The first thing you're going to need to do is take your water, you can get the water from your spigot, and you're gonna fill up your glass halfway. And then you're going to take your paper, I'm gonna use my index card, and you're going to put it on top of the glass and make sure that you don't see any of the rim of the glass. So while you're doing that, you're going to carry it over to your sink and you have to be really, really careful because you don't want to move the paper and show the rim of the glass. You have to keep that rim covered. I'm going to take it over to my, my tub. You're going to take it over to your sink and I'm going to turn it over. What do you think will happen when we turn it over? Let's find out. There's no water coming out. The paper is able to, able to hold the water in. So, the reason why this happens is because you have a lot of air pressure coming up above, up hitting the paper, and again, it's coming out air pressure is coming and hitting the bottom of the paper from the glass, but there's a lot more air pressure coming upward, so it stays up. Once this paper gets too wet, however, it's going to fall off and all your, paper, all your water will dump out. So that's why you need to do it over the sink. I'm going to flip this back over now and take my paper off. Notice it's very wet, but still was able to stay on. And that's how you do the magic no-flow H2O. And you can do this now for any of your friends or family and show them how much of a magic person you are. Enjoy this, and I'll see you again soon. And happy science.